dead mite. Check him out. Oh, we got a big one right there, Mike. Look at the little one right behind him. The little one, the little one's trying to catch up with him, Mike. Ah. Need a need a 12 gauge for this one, Mike. That's some crazy shit. We got an ant. God damn, bro. Man, that motherfucker probably. That's a motherfucking soldier, bro. That's a motherfucking spider ant. They ain't even no regular shit, bro. Like, that's a motherfucking crab leg, bro. That's crazy. Like a damn scorpion or some shit. Like a scorpion wasp. How the hell look like a scorpion wasp, nigga? Like a fucking... Like a tarantula hornet out this bitch, man. Y'all niggas tripping. That nigga ain't moving no more, though. He ain't dead. That nigga probably tired. He big as hell. <laughs> nigga just sitting there. He big as hell. Look, that's a fat ant. Fat ants get tired. The little ants, they just there. Keep going and shit. You can see the little ants. Probably can see them niggas down there racing and shit. You know what I'm saying? They probably gonna crawl on my damn shoe. But yeah, you can see how fast they move. You know what I'm saying? But that nigga right there. That nigga stuck, boy. Unless he just posing for the camera. And that nigga like taking photo shoots. Nigga think he's shooting a video or so. Nigga stuck, boy. Good. But yeah, man. I'm out here in the, in the wilderness. You know what I'm saying? Feeling good, though. You know what I'm saying? Um, about to detox soon. Do my little natural cleanse. Shout out to Dahoodie. Uh, my raw go to dhealthstore.com you know what I'm saying get you a full body cleanse you know detox it come with like some um some some activated charcoal um which is got carbon in it you know what I'm saying for all the melanated slash carbonated beans um it come with oh, I got some hair in my mouth for my lady I'm a queen so the, the detox come with uh like the I think the colon it clean your colon, clean your bladder, clean your liver, your kidneys and your digestive tract system and all type of um it it just clear every part of your body that needs to be clear, you know what I'm saying? And um I'm just ready to get back to me, get back to self. You know, lately I've been kind of, you know, traveling and finding my way here and there. And now I feel like I'm in a place of complete love, you know, complete bliss. Uh, I feel like that we, we in a certain time where there ain't no room for nothing less than love. You know what I'm saying? Love is the strongest force in the universe. You no know, fear. Fear is a weak emotion. Fear is only possible through the unknown. You know, you only fear the unknown because you also can fear what you know. But the unknown brings the most fear. Just like if a if a building caught on fire or a plane crashed into a building, you fear the unknown because you don't even know what happened. You just a part of it. And you got to figure out what to do. Just like I was driving with my queen. We went to the bowling alley. The whole bowling alley shut down. There's a thunderstorm, like the whole tropical storm. The whole thing shut down because 
it pretty much was a tropical attack on I would say the negative vibrations that's been sitting on this planet so long, you know. I feel like Mother Nature wanted to cleanse everything. So now we driving from the bowling alley, we about to go get some hibachi. You know what I'm saying? Try to get me a little uh hibachi dish, you know what I'm saying, just a couple of veggies, even though I ain't supposed to be nowhere near no hibachi. You know what I'm saying? But I just had that desire. So we pretty much ended up driving through traffic with no traffic signals on. Yo, like these these folks ain't even got no traffic lights on in the in the city. You know what I'm saying? We talking about in the intersection in the city. Imagine in the intersection in the city, right? It ain't no traffic lights to direct you to go nowhere. And the sun about to go down. So at that point, me and the queen just wondering, like, how we going to get through this? We ain't even stressing it. But we just like, dang, this crazy, yo. Like, the traffic lights actually are out. Like, it's cool, though. You know, things like that happen. It's all just a test. It ain't nothing new. The test get more drastic as time move on as you trying to raise your frequency raise your vibration you know what I'm saying get in tune with yourself you know what I'm saying the more you get in tune with yourself the more you're gonna be tested about yourself how comfortable are you with yourself how much do you rely on other people how much do you rely on the most high or God you know how much do you rely on everything you know what I'm saying it's gonna test you it's gonna be multiple tests and we not gonna pass all of them. I haven't passed every test. You know what I'm saying? Nobody will pass every test because the only one who can pass every test is the one who created the answers and questions for the test. You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, we are just here to learn. We not here, we didn't come here to know everything. It's it's some it's some people who are angelic and they did come here to know everything, but some of us we just here to be a, a, a vessel to channel divine energy. You get what I'm saying? We're just a vessel. This body is just it's just a, a, a vehicle that the creator uses to guide its divine expression. See, the creator has an expression, and I'm the expressor. You get what I'm saying? The expression came from the creator thinking. I'm the manifestation of the thought. You get what I'm saying? I'm the slowed down version of it, which which shows you my flesh. See, if I was vibrating on a higher frequency, you wouldn't be able to see my flesh, and I would be in an angelic spirit form. You get what I'm saying? But we slow, we so slowed down because the creator's thoughts are so fast that by the time it manifests, we are the thought. And our lifetime is what, 70 to 100 years? So that's just the blink of an eye for the creator. That's just a second or two. 70 years to us is a few seconds to the creator. But I ain't saying nothing, man. I ain't, I ain't got no name. You know what I'm saying? Just respect the infinite. That's all I came here to do is respect the infinite because I'm a part of the infinite. So if I don't respect what, where I came from, how do I expect to be welcomed back to where I came from? You know what I'm saying? I came from the infinite and that's where I shall return. But much love to y'all. A lot of respect to all the elders, ancestors, spiritual guides, the people who left this earth that continue to watch over and guide me without me knowing i thank you and i just thank all the unseen forces of creative energy that i'm able to pull from to be great but i thank y'all for being 